Hi friends, Dan from On One here. I'm excited to show you some big improvements that we've made to Mask AI. If you forgot what Mask AI is, it allows you to apply an adjustment to just a specific object or region within your photo. It's the technology that drives the adaptive presets as well as the Super Select AI tool. We've now added the ability to pick the background or the foreground automatically. So on a photo like this, I can affect the horse and rider in the foreground and everything else as background. Let me show you what I mean. I'm here in effects. I'm just going to add a filter. When I add a filter on the left hand side, you'll see the mask AI section and you'll see two new categories, one for the background and one for the foreground. Basically, if it's a person, an animal or food that's included in the foreground, everything else is going to be background. So let's say I want to increase the difference between my subject and my background. I'll just pick foreground and let's add a dynamic contrast filter. There we go. That makes him pop out a little bit more. I'm also going to brighten up the shadows just a little bit. Now let's do the opposite. Let's tone down the background a little bit. I'll add another filter. This time I'll pick background and I'll add a photo filter. For this, I'll use the classic warm, cool gradient. Now it's a little strong to start, but don't worry, we can adjust it. I'm just going to grab the distance slider to set where the warm cool splits. I'm going to increase the transition between them. And then I'm going to dial down the amount of blue. There we go. Let's look at the before and after. There's before and there's after. By adding two filters and using the new foreground and background options in Mask AI. It's really handy for a complicated scene like this where there's lots of different regions in the background. It'll let you pick them all at once very quickly. One more improvement, if you go into the masking section and you go to the Mask AI combo box, you'll notice that we've combined the paint in and paint out options into the same control. It makes it easier to make all of your Mask AI adjustments at once. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching.